Hello everybody, it's James with Border Brew Gaming and today we're unboxing Warhammer Underworld's Night Vault set. So, uh, if you play Shade Spire, I'm sure you've probably been waiting for this. Um, this is the version 2 that came out. Now, I've been assured by GW that uh, all the other stuff is still playable. Um, but this just adds more to the game. Um, so, you don't have to worry about what, you know, um, some of the other games do where they come out with another version and then everything else is just, you know, tossed to the wind and you got to start all over again. Uh, so, thankfully... Uh, this is um, uh, a standalone, but also it will um, play with the first uh, box set of Shade Spire. So uh, it retails for 60, but uh, let's go ahead and crack this open. Um, this is going to be legitimately a fresh open box, none of that uh, pre packaged. We're going to legitimately open this up. Unlike other unboxings where they don't legitimately open it up, they just open it up normally. Anyways. <laughs> Alright, the Ultimate Competitive Adventure Game Core Set Night Vault. It's got a freaking badass looking little witch on the front of it. Uh, see that? Okay, so opening it up, immediately we have the rule book. Um, set that aside for now, because we won't be going over rules right now. Uh, the board, we'll open that up, and then the miniatures. So I really like the Shade Spire. Um, they're like press fit. They're easy to put together. You don't have to be a uh, a modeling guru to uh, put them all together. We got the uh, Stormcast Eternals here in blue. We got the Night Haunts here in this grotesque green. Um, so like I said, they're all push fit. Uh, Kind of don't even really need glue, but I, I suggest that you need you get you know a little bit of glue here to secure your models just a little bit better. Um, dice uh, and the cards, the action cards, subjective cards um, here. Sample chapter. Ooh, I think they give you a book. They awesome. They give you actually a uh, like a sample of uh, a book for Shade Spire of the Mirror City by Josh Reynolds. Uh, and as I guess it's one of the chapters so you can uh, see if you really wanna read their books. Um, they give you a whole bunch of empty bags so you can kind of keep all your stuff nice and organized. And uh, this was just the beginning. Okay, well, uh, it looks like they have, uh, you know, some teasers of some other stuff coming out or already out. The storm strike up, oh, that stuff already came out. Um, okay, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Let's go ahead and um, take a look at this board. Um, I do know that they did come out with some um, uh, terrain bits for the board. Uh, you can go separately if you wanna upscale your games a little bit. Um, I heard, have heard that this added some you know, cooler, like, dangerous terrain rules that actually can hurt you. Um, oh, here we go. Um, the token sets, at per usual. Uh, looks like there's some, some different ones here that are pretty interesting. Maybe some kind of, like, dial thing where if you're in the adjacent one, when you roll a dice, maybe that hurts you or something. Um, but pretty interesting tokens there. Uh, more tokens with even um, more different uh, different uh, objective pieces here and tokens uh, we'll be really interested to tear up in this game and uh, get into this game and uh, see what they've changed which we will do in a later video uh, some more tokens uh, just tokens galore more objectives uh, more stuff for the boards uh, so let's go ahead and open up these boards here okay so they're still double-sided which is awesome um, so let's go with one side here. I guess they have one for the Eternals and one for the Night Haunts. You can play on each, each person's realm here. Um, so yeah, that would be like so. Um, so this is uh, one side of the board here. And then here is another side. Oh, that's actually kind of interesting now that I look at it. Maybe 
This is like a destroyed version, maybe, maybe not. Hmm. No, so they're, they're separate, they're not the same thing. They look kind of similar. Maybe like one side was like a destroyed version, but nope, just uh, the normal board here as, as usual, starting sets like so, and then like that. Uh, pretty straightforward. Uh, pretty lim uh, I like how they kept everything down to two sprues. You just toss one to one guy and go, hey, put this together, put this together, let's get to playing. Um, the box uh, seems like it would be really easy to put everything back in. Um, you got your cards here, Thorns of the Briar Queen. Open this when you play your first game. This plaque pack includes fighter cards, an objective deck, and a power deck for the Thorns of Briar Queens. Oh, here you go. Don't open this until you have played a few games. This pack includes extra objective cards and power cards that you can use to construct new decks for each warband. Pretty awesome. And then open this when you play your first game. This pack includes... Okay, so these two... This is the Stormcast Eternals deck. This is the uh, Briar Queen deck. So the Stormshire's Curse Breakers and Thorns of the Briar Queen. Uh, and then these are the, the packs that you add in the supplement. But... Um, I mean, all in all, it seems pretty... What I love about uh, the first Shade Spire is these games are really quick. Um, so knowing that they've expounded upon those rules, it's got to be you know, either quicker or even more action-packed than it was before, because... Um, give you a tutorial here, um, kind of... You know, quick games, kind of give you a breakdown. And then they give you like a reference and then more in depth and then all the different war bands that are coming or already have been come or already came out um, are in the book so huh yeah it's a that's pretty much it learn to play and got you the extra bags uh, to put everything in tokens and whatnot which is actually really nice to have because everyone knows that tokens can go all over the place um, but I'll just keep this kind of quick and simple, uh, just so if you wanted to see what was in it real fast before you bought it yourself. Uh, Warhammer, Warhammer Underworld's Night Vault. Uh, pick it up at your local store or here at BBG. Um, get your uh, membership discounts and whatnot. Um, so yeah, if you uh, found this video pretty useful, hopefully you did, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Uh, like, share, uh, give us your feedback down below. and. And that's my phone, so uh, I gotta head out. So take care, guys.